Welcome to York Reacts. Today we're going to be checking out a brand new trailer from a company called Mighty Koi Studios. Now this trailer is, or this game, is called The Night Wanderer. It looks pretty cool. I've only seen like little screenshots and different stuff, so I'm really excited to see the trailer. I went and dove into the studio, Mighty Koi, to see kind of what they're doing, see what other games they've worked on. It looks like they're a brand new company, and they're kind of from Poland, and they have a really neat studio over there in Warsaw. So check out their website. It's really neat. Um, it looks like they're working on two IPs right now, and this is the, the one that they're first showcasing. So, if you're new to my channel, I'm a game developer as well. I've been working in the industry a long time. I've worked on some cool games like GTA 5 and Red Dead 2, a whole bunch of cool stuff. So hopefully I can give a cool breakdown on this trailer and kind of dive into this in a different way that you've never seen before. So let's dive in and take a look. All right, here we go. I like your little intro. Hand animated, painted. Sick. All right, here we go. They said he came out of the icy waves of the North Sea. Oh. Born of its raging expanse. They said he emerged out like of the night. Cold. He's Riding out. on a horse as big as a dragon. His sword ablaze. Oh, yeah. This is cool. I kind of like this origin he story. came out of the fright wastelands. Shaped by depraved thoughts. Oh, is that him? A shadow followed him. Nordland. A something. shadow who sang of war. Wow. They cool said looking. he was the son of a vagrant god who sired him with a mortal woman. Mortal woman. So dramatic. This is cool looking though. Spread it. They wow. said he was forged by lightning. Who is he, Thor? Is this Thor? A lightning that woke up the slumbering princess. Oh. Wow, that looks cool. Love that. It's a really neat scene. This trailer's pretty cool looking. Especially here for a smaller team I've never seen before. She was confined wow. by the abyss. Is that Thor? <laughs> the ship. Oh, the animation looks good there. Beloved. Ooh, I like that closing up on you. Oh shit. Crash landed. Here we go. I like the build up. She died. Giving oh dude, that explosion her. looked great. And to the warrior. Ooh, what is that? Oh yes. <laughs> they dude. were all wrong. Oh, dude. He was but a soldier. Wow. Who fell from the stars. Coming when it's ready, it says. <laughs> I love that. Dude. Okay. Okay. I see you. You know what? Like, they, they were really dramatic with it, with the voice and the, and the what, <laughs> and whatnot. But it's got me thinking if this is like some kind of different origin story to Thor or a version of, of something like that. I don't know why, just because of like how he, the way they presented that, I don't know. And, um, you know what? I really liked how the character looked, um, kind of authentic, like to the certain era that he might be coming from or going to, I guess, if that makes sense. You know, I'm, I'm digging the like Nordic vibes and the, the like kind of I don't know how to explain it, but just the style that they're presenting the character in looks really cool. I really like it. So let's dive into this trailer and, and dissect it, shall we? Let's get in here. 
Let's break it down slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. First off, it's very, like I said, very dramatic. They're showing, you know, um, it looks like too that like it feels like a Superman origin story or a or a, one of those things too, right? Like a Supergirl story where she's blasted out into the planet and she's crash landing and like all that stuff. Kind of like <laughs> for some reason that's how it felt to me. And it's he, he's like completely passed out, right? Doesn't know he's that he's going to be crash landing on this planet and whatnot. And the graphics look really good. I'm I'm really impressed, to be honest. I wish I could see this at 4K right now. It's only in like 1080p or whatever, but I I I really like the graphics. Like some of it looks almost photo real, and so it's really impressive. And then some of it looks like this, where it's like kind of like almost like concept art with with 3D kind of coming over it and flying in. And I always love stuff like that, where it looks hand painted but yet 3D. Now. One part I wanted to touch on was was kind of cool is it looks like they're making the sword like super futuristic style, like 3D printing it. Um, one thing I thought was really nice was that like this dude doesn't just set his hands down. If you look very carefully, he sets them down and then they slide a little bit and then they stop, which is a really nice kind of touch for the animation. A lot of time people don't do that. They don't like pay attention to that stuff. A lot of times animators just put the hand on the table like really punk and it just looks bad and that looks really nice so whoever animated that scene props to you you know what you're doing yeah you'll pay attention to details just like me i like you i, I think we could be friends <laughs> anyway so this is cool too this nordland it looks like they're really going off of nordlandic kind of style and history but bringing a futuristic vibe to it, which I think is pretty dope. I love it when they do stuff like that. If they do it in the right way, like Assassin's Creed tried to do that, where they had like this futuristic thing where, but you were going back in time, right? But that felt really disconjointed and broken, and it was really weird trying to follow that story. So I hope this one doesn't do that. I hope they you get thrown into that story, and then you just stay in that story for a really long time. You don't kind of bounce in and out of it like constantly and visit this little like lobby area to you know i hope it's not like that um <clears throat> this is kind of interesting a little piece of technology you know this is where it's leading nowadays where you can just have this little microchip and then you implant this microchip and then boom everything can kind of come together and you can change a person's life and send them different places and have them go into virtual reality and have a you know there's it's really interesting what they're, you know, Elon Musk is trying to do with all that stuff. This transition is really neat. If you look really closely, they do a transition from like this triangular shape to the shape of the windows that they're showing you next. See this? That's pretty nice. I like that. They're paying attention to like a lot of things in this trailer for like what makes a trailer good, right? Great camera angles, great lighting, great transitions, uh, building like tension, building like a uh, the feeling for a story of like, ooh, what is this? Like that right there. Like you think to yourself, ooh, what is that? <laughs> like when she first pulls this out, you're like, hmm, what's she going to do with that thing? And look, all the the energy and light like you comes through it. And this is the moment you realize it's like the Matrix and she's about to hook him in. When he, the way he looks it made me think of like Thor and the, and all of that. So it'd be interesting, like I said, if this was some kind of tie to Thor and that mythology, wouldn't that be kind of cool, right? I love how they take you in all the way in right here. And they show that, oh, he was forged by lightning. That's when I was like, huh? What do you mean he's forged by lightning? I'm like, is this Thor? <laughs> That's like, I mean, I don't know why. A lot of the stuff just made me think that. We'll see how, when this game comes out or whatnot, but... This is really cool, how they're like dangling them upside down. And my favorite part, I think, in the whole trailer, like visually, is this. This scene just looks epic. It reminds me of something Dark Souls would do and the people that, you know, from software. Because it's framed really well. Like the thirds and how the character's laying down there in this red glow. And the contrast between the red and the blue and the, and the framing of the shot. It just looks absolutely epic. Love, 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 love that shot. So cool. And you almost want to see him get up right here, but they don't. They tease it. He doesn't get up right here. You just see the blinking of all that. Like when I was first watching this, I thought, okay, he's going to get up. 
And he never got up. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, is this part of the end of the story or what? You know? <laughs> this was impressive to me. When they showed, like, the world and the atmosphere and the satellite, I'm like, whoa. I can't believe a small dev team kind of did this because this looks incredible. It looks really, really, really good. I'm just impressed with the quality of, like, the texturing and rendering and, and uh, the lighting. Everything looks really, really, really good. I can't wait to see kind of what they do with this. Like, and you can tell the animators know what they're doing as well. Just by this hand animation, when you see the fingers kind of come up and touch this hand, you can see that they curl over properly. They don't clip. They don't mess up. They, they, you can see his hand is like going like this and, and clinching together when she's doing it. Nice, nice, nice little details. Love that. And look, her finger drags off, and as it drags off, it pulls. It, you know, it, it pulls away, and extends sort of. It's great. You know, a lot of the stuff to you guys is probably like, ah, oh, who cares? But to me, it looks really good. I notice those little details because a lot of game companies kind of don't spend enough time on that stuff, and it looks rough usually, right? But this looks really good. Love it. And then this thing closing up on you is really cool. One thing I, I think is a bit off is it feels like it's really far away, like you're way back here in the suit. But I love the feel of it and the lighting and how it like encloses on you. That would have been a good spot to like stop the trailer even. I just like the way it looks. Um, this part here is really cool. Hold on, let me see here. Right here. When he gets up and he comes to this spot, you know he's been traveling a while, and all of a sudden, boom, it explodes behind him. And these effects behind him look absolutely photorealistic. The smoke and the, oh my God. And then you see lightning, and you're like, wait, what? So it's really cool. I, and w later on, um, look, you can see a carcass down there on the floor. <laughs> Later on, like right here, this looks so good, dude. Look at that. Wow. You can tell they're going to have a very realistic looking game. Look at the hair and texturing on his skin and the beard. The beard looks phenomenal. I don't, this is probably most likely a cutscene in the game, right? But it's really cool. Like this big spider. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is like the coolest scene right here in the entire trailer. Is this spider coming through this thing and him standing there ready to fight? I almost wanted to just be like, because of that part. Oh, yeah. Like, give me this fucking game, dude, because this looks so cool. That's the type of shit I love when a big, huge boss comes over and you're about to just start, like, and they're showing that, and a trailer just gets you super hyped. See his little face, his little smirk, like, all right, let's go. <laughs> I love that. That stuff just, I don't know. As a gamer and a developer and doing this stuff, it just gets me so hyped. Love it. I love how this camera angle comes, like he's crawling around the side of this wall, and he's just, oh, dude, awesome work. Hope you guys enjoyed that trailer breakdown. I thought it was such a good game. They, they're bringing something very unique to the table. So I'm excited for this new studio. I think it's called Moon Koi or something like that. I had to, you know, go back to the beginning of <laughs> what it was. But shout out to that new studio. This looks really, really good. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown of this trailer. If you did, you know what buttons to press. If you have some time, which I think you do, stay around. I have a whole bunch of other videos. I have some breakdowns of some games that I have worked on and all kinds of cool stuff. I also stream Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays from 9 to 11 p.m. So I hope to see you guys there. Appreciate your time and support, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.